Hello, Brian's Picketers here. Today we are doing a new Minecraft plugin tutorial. And today's tutorial is called the Dyne Map plugin tutorial. Uh, so, this is basically a Google Maps for Minecraft servers, so you can always look at what people are doing in the server or basically just spy on them, basically. Uh, as well, talk to them in chat, which is amazing. So if we just type this following command, what's on the wall, so Dyne Map, it will give you a bunch of commands. So you've got your Add ID, Cancel Render, uh, Del ID, Render, Full Render, sorry, Hides, uh, IDs for IPs, IPs for IDs, Pause, Purge, 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 um, Quiet, and Radius Render, Render, Reset Stat, Center Web, Show, Stats, Trigger Stats, Update Render, Versions, and Web register so basically we're going to be doing the basic commands and how to actually just set up the map and basically just little extra little configurations so if we just go over to the spigot page because it's mainly on the spigot page and your config file so let me just flick over and you can see here we've got the dyne map version 2.5 uh, but the main thread the actual resource is actually on the um, Minecraft forums. So we got here all the versions. So for Forge, this is all for Forge there, you can see. And then you've got your spigot and bucket, so there. And then you've got all your different types of mods here and all the versions, which is awesome. And then you've got your wiki, issue tracker, source. And then you've got your preview for previous versions of um, Bucket and then you've got a screenshot and then you've got some more information and videos how to install and then you've got the change log and the update log as well as all the add-on plugins here and then you've got your interrogate uh, interrogated plugins with Bucket which is awesome so if we just cross that off um, if you have got any issues you can go to this link so you get the github or you could also go on the uh, Minecraft forums link or you can comment down the uh, not down the bottom sorry and the discussion bit I um, always think the discussion is at the bottom but it's the uh, reviews at the bottom um, if you have got a good like positive review of this plugin remember to just link it at the uh, put it down here you just basically put five star and then you put a, a little review so how to install basically install the uh, plugin and just put it in a plugin folder and just install it and then just let everything generate and here's the first time use so let's just do that now so when you've installed the plugin you'll, you'll see that error there but that's fine that's my side error but you see that the uh, plugin will be not if you are using nitro panel it won't be like around here it should technically be here but the folder is in lowercase so it'll be at the bottom on nitrous networks so if we just open that just get my drink because my throat's hurt a bit and we can see here there's a bunch of stuff so when I said that we're going to do a little extra little extra tips as well so with your HTMLs I'm just going to do the one with your HTMLs you just download the folder the file sorry so let's like that and let's just open show and folder and we'll basically bring this over here and edit with notepad reload it yes and you can see here that it's got the minecraft dynamap yep that's fine so if we go here and we just type in the server ip i just forgot to show this quickly server ip and then the the port the default port for dynamap is 8123 and you can see here this is a whole browser and basically everything related to the Dyne map, which you can see here, Minecraft Dyne map. So you can see here it's got the time. So it's 12 at night in the morning. And it's basically the, uh, the moon's at the top and the sun's coming. And with your mouse, you can see on the left hand side, it's got your location of your coordinates. Like so. So you can disable the markers. You can disable players. And you can zoom in and you can zoom out and you've got your chat here so for an example if I type hey it will show here and it's picked up that it's brands pickled 
That's because it's registered my IP in game and picked it up for the browser, which basically thinks, oh, that's Brands Pickled using the same computer, same IP. So if I just quickly flick into Minecraft, you can see what that what it looks like. So if I type in hey in chat and I flip over, you can see Brands Pickled has said hey. And so I'm gonna be showing you how to make this bigger. As well as you know that little thing, what the little tip what I was telling you about a second ago that says Minecraft Dine Map. If you go to your HTML files at the title, just change it. So Brands Pickled Map. And you can save it. And you can change the description if you want. So let's, let's change that as well. This is so if anyone types in Brands Pickled Map into Google, it will pick up. So if we just click save, and let's minimize that. Uh, so the next thing, that's some, again, that's my error, so don't worry about that. Um, we, where's that map gone? There it is. So we can edit the config file here. So there's certain things what you want to disable or enable or anything you want. So you can have it connected to your database if you want for your rendering. Um, but we quickly, before we actually go through this config file, we're going to do something in game so it's actually rendering while we go through the config file. So there is two ways you can render this. You can render it by a full render, so it uh, renders the full world, or you can basically render the chunk, sorry, or the full world, um, as well as you can do a radius render, which I prefer. So if you've got like a um, world border, go to your mid center point, where your world border is, and then you do the radius. So Dyn map, I'm going to do a radius render. So you can do radius render, and then the the, um, the radius amount. So for an example, I'm going to do 100 for this sake. So you can see here render of 100 blocks radius starting on world world, and you can see here that it's just starting to render. You've got all this information after so many seconds. So wait for the next message. Wait for it and. Wait for it. There we go. So this will keep broadcasting and it does get quite annoying, but it only shows it to the person who just did the command. So if we just type in thine map quiet, this will stop everything in the chat broadcasting, but it will only show in the console. So while that let, let that do its job, um, we're just going to edit the config file now. So you can see here you've got your storage unit. So you've got default it's file tree. File tree is basically what goes on your hard drive. So your hard drive of your server or you can have it as an SQLite or a database. Um, if you're quite a big server and basically loads of builds are happening and the map's always changing, I recommend you to use uh, the database. So if you are using like Nitrous Networks, you do get a free database with it. So if you just go to your database host and then you've got etc etc which we're going to delete like so and if we just go back to the location and oh wait it's already there so for, for my sake we can just use file tree because it's just me but before that you can see here you've got your uh, templates so you can change this is how your render will look so you can have basically the heart the Hires, is that how you pronounce it? Basically, that is the view. So if we go to here, that is the view from above. So it's like a 2D effect, and you can see it's rendered. Uh, it's like a 2D effect, and if I just move, it's every five seconds it will update. Like so. But some people don't want that, which sometimes I don't want it in 2D. Uh, so if we basically go to, not that, go to here and you can see that you've got these you've got your high res high res low res etc but if we go to here and you can see that you've got your HD maps so if we just open that and it will show you about the information so the default is that so basically you put whatever is in the middle so if we just read this so very low it's basically classic blah blah so if we just go for 
highs is basically what's currently on now. So if we just change the following, let's change it to, hmm, don't know how to change it. Don't know how what to change it to. We we'll keep it there for now, but basically you just change it by changing it to high res, high res, or whatever. Uh, so you can see here we got the basic um, compartments. So in the uh, in the map you can see that you've got the health, you got your armor, and you've got your ranks. So we can keep that as truth because that we can show your armor and your health. The one underneath is your position, so it will always update every five seconds, which you can see underneath. And the high chat IP. So if anyone joins the uh, the map without it syncing, your IP syncing, it will show their IP. So like that. And then use. We're going to skip the few. Uh, use name color. So if a player's got a nickname with color, it will show in the chat. So we're going to just change that to true. And then requires a players to log in. Uh, if you want players to log in to the web browser so people can't just randomly spam, feel free, change that to true. In this case, we're going to just leave it as false. Uh, if you want only staff using the web chat, you can. You basically use the uh, dine map dot web chat and give it them. And when they log in, it will basically allow them to type in chat or it will pick up that IP and basically let them type in the chat then if a player is uh, sneaking or crouching basically they'll disappear out of the map we we'll keep that as false because you'll basically it, say like someone's teabagging or something it will just constantly flicker um, protect players info so basically their position and stats is protected so we're keeping that as false and if a player is using invisibility potion and they will disappear off the map that is set to true and if you want to hide players ma names on the map change that to true but i'm going to keep it as false because i like seeing my name and yeah that is basically that so like i said this is only the basics so spawn beds that we can show and this has just got a lot of information. You can just flick through it and change the stuff how you like. So if we just go save back. And you can see here, we've got the render data. And you can see that nothing will be there. And if we just go to your web and you'll go to your tiles, you can see here that you've got your world. So this is all the world files, all the chunks, what's being rendered right now. So every time you basically refresh, there will be like a one extra. And your files will get a bit bigger and bigger. So here's again, is all the uh, the chunks location. So for an example, if I just download this one. Let it download. And let's open it. You can see that it's that bit of the map. Um, let's go back and there's another folder is your faces so you've got your 16 by 16 normal face so let me just open this as well and you've got the small face of mine and that is literally the basic commands of how to use Dynemap it's very helpful like you can see that's been rendered over there and it's basically constantly getting rendered if you zoom in you can see the map is pretty glitchy because I did import this world, world from my server, which did have um, a different world, uh, the uh, custom plugin. That's why that's got a line there, because that's got my world in, and then just the default Minecraft world. Like, over here, this should render over here soon. I've got like a little mob arena, which I'm going to be doing a plugin on soon. And everything. So that is basically Dynemap. If you have any plugins for me to do a tutorial or you just need help on, just message me in the comment section. And yeah, remember to like, subscribe and peace.